Hi, we're Sam and Kat. I'm Sam, and this idiot here is Kat. And we've been making videos on and off for the last four years, documenting our days out and further travels. You also might notice that we love food and animals. Welcome to the channel. Sit back, enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Voila, that's my tea. Not look bad, does it? So I am outside, so I'm going to tuck into it before it gets cold. So, as promised on the last video, I'm going to go and do a little cook up. Just picked up some more stuff from the old go outdoors. Got some things in the old cool box and stuff. Just going to need to find somewhere to do it now. This is completely unplanned and unrehearsed, so. Who knows how this could turn out, but yeah, uh, off we go. So ladies and gentlemen, I've come to the middle of nowhere. I'm not entirely sure what you call this, but it's in the middle of nowhere. It's a little pulling. There's a bridge over there to the river with them. Um, but I'm not going over there because it's too close to the water and there'll be a load of midges and that, but and people crossing because there's a footpath that runs up the river as well. So I thought I'd pull in here before I get to that bridge. There's no one here bit of a flat ground and I've got some stuff in the car that I picked up and I'm going to try and assemble this this table it's a collapsible table Not quite sturdy in the shop to be fair the clouds have come over quite dark and it has turned quite cold so I'm not entirely sure whether I'm going to start or not I am still short of a few bits and bobs but I might just give it a go anyway let's see if we can get this table up Table. It's all right. All day for me. So let's get a cooker out and get a kettle on. Okie dokie, folks. There's the setup. Kettle's on. Got my tea there, ready to go. Got my pan out. I think what I'm going to cook tonight is a chili beef burrito bowl. And it's one of my yellow fresh ones. Memorise that picture there just to see if it looks like that at the end out it but we can but try got all the ingredients in me cool box back here that's what you can hear wearing away my milk and all that stuff's in there as well so I'm not gonna boil rice and all that sort of stuff just got a packet rice um, and I shall whack that in the in the pan at the end and just warm it up because that's all you need to do really so yeah let's get on with it and see how we go so there it is sports fans got all bits and bobs in there so this is what we're cooking tonight. Now I've had to be careful at the minute. What I can't do is cook the Hello Fresh meals that require an oven at the minute. But I have got a Ridge Monkey on the way, which kind of, I'm hoping will act a bit like an oven as well, as well as separating to two separate pans. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how we get on. Kettle's on, kettle's boiling. So let's get a cup of tea made. So that's my cup of tea made. That can go in there for now, up there, and we'll uh, we'll start with the dinner. Sun's broke through them clouds now, look. It's quite warm on you. The uh, old mince is cooking. Better not forget my tea. Red hot, that. Right, anyway. Mince is cooking nice. Let's crack on with the rest.
some lime juice into the tomatoes and uh, wedge a lime on there with the rest of the salad. Tea still red hot. There's my salad. Well, a bit of salad anyway, lettuce and tomatoes. So I've only got one pan with me at the minute. So what I'm gonna have to do is wait until the chilli's cooked, pop that into the one that I've brought all the stuff in so that I can bang my rice into the pan. Um, when I get my ridge monkey, I can use it uh, together or you can part it and use it as two separate pans, hence why I've brought a second hob, stove, whatever. So yeah, it'll be a good little setup. These were on offer, which is why I've done this as well. Um, 16 pounds each. 16 pounds each. But how, how great is it just to stick a table? We've got two chairs. We always carry two chairs. They're behind there anyway, look. Two chairs at the back. <clears throat> always carry two chairs in the car. So to be able to just stick this uh, table out the back of the car with the two chairs, just to even have a cup of tea, brilliant. And these stoves will fit underneath this compartment. There's like a little, little compartment under there. And they go in these black boxes and they'll just go under there. And the canisters, these, these packs of canisters, four in a pack, two packs, 12 quid. And I bought two packs, so I've got four packs of them. And the, the fridge is plugged in, so it acts like a fridge. It's not just a cool box. So we can go off for days if we wanted. Catherine don't, but, but this is a great little setup. Chilli's starting to bubble away nicely now. Give it a little stir. I think I might have put, I haven't got any way of measuring the water and I think I might have overdone it with the water. Not bothered about that at all. Where's my spoon? Let's have a little taste. <clears throat> well, it's a chilli, all right. Got some tunes on. So the chilli's done. So I've debunked that into the container. And I've just put a bit of water in the pan. Didn't want to bunk much as that really. And when that's uh, starting to bubble a little bit, I'll put the rice in. I didn't want to put the rice straight into the pan dry. Dry out. Um, so yeah, I'll get the rice on. <clears throat> so I've turned the music off because I forget about copyright. I'll probably get a copyright copyright strike if it's uh, on in the background. Anyway, rice is on. Cooking away. That water we put in has gone. Look, you see. Obviously, the uh, the heat of the pan will evaporate it as well. So anyway, there we go. So that's it, just a touch more water. We'll let that heat through. Let's give these stoves a bit of a clean when I, when I get home. I'm a bit of a messy cooker, people. And yes, I said messy cooker. We'll be plating up soon. Some tomatoes with a little bit of lime juice on. Makes all the difference. Like I say, I'm cooking at my car in the middle of nowhere. Amazing, brilliant, love it. Love it. guys voila that's my tea not bad does it so i am outside so i'm going to tuck into it before it gets cold i forgot wipes a few things i need to get a chopping board some wipes for cleaning down stuff uh, and there was something else and i can't remember what that is now so i'll probably forget that again in the future but i don't think that's a bad first attempt at uh, a bit cooking el fresco and uh, i'm not sleeping here tonight I'm not doing the full car camping yet, but I've got some annual leave coming up and I might just do that. We'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't think the car's big enough to lay down and I'm gonna have to have a look at it. I might get some wood uh, just to make a, a flat platform or something like that, uh, just to put in. 
and then I might consider it. The windows on our car is the, the, the quite blacked out anyway, but you can see, if you go right up to them, you can see in. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure how much, uh, how much I'm gonna go into that really. Obviously you've got not just blacking the windows out for privacy, but it's an insulation thing as well. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes anyway. I'm gonna dig into this food. See you in a bit, guys. Right guys, that was absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. I didn't cook all the rice, I wish I had now because there's loads more chilli in there. I think I'm gonna have to eat a little bit of the chilli on its own. Let's get some stuff packed away because the weather just doesn't look good. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera, but there's quite a few dark clouds looming about and it's turned quite chilly. Yeah, let's get everything away while it's still dry. So as always guys, always leave it cleaner than you found it. So that's everything back in the car. The rubbish is in there with my dirty utensils. <coughs> I'm just gonna finish my cup of tea. Didn't actually take that long to pack up really. So this is the river guys. And uh, like someone's been fishing here today. Quite algae fied see the fishermen down the bank. Little bridge over the river there. And I think that's Fiskerton the other side. The path runs all the way down to Bardney. So that's it guys, that's where I'm gonna leave you. A pair of fishermen packing up there. I think that was a good first trial run. We'll see what happens when we get a bit more kitted out with a car. We'll maybe do some overnighters. Don't think you're actually gonna do any stealth camping in this car, but you know. So that's it guys, if you like that and you you'd like to see me doing a little bit more, give the video a thumbs up. All else with the algorithm gets, gets the content out there and let's grow the channel. And if, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Click the little bell icon for future updates and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See you later guys.